I don't know if you listened to the Chazara. This is not a quiz. I just I, I pointed out in the Chazara that we Shtickle missed a Rashi last night. You know, we kept on saying that what's the Vard in Suki Yishana? I kept on saying that it needs a Lishma. And I'm sure maybe people might have wondered, like, where did you get that from? It sounds like you almost made up this fact that the Sukkah needs the Shema. The answer is it's Rashi. Rashi, the <clears throat> second Rashi, says, Beishamai Paislim, Debau Sukkah Lishma. Says Rashi, why does Beishamai say it's possible? Because you need, a Sukkah needs to be Lishma. Whereas Beisel says it's Kasher, the next Rashi, why? Delay be non Sukkah Lishem Chag. Does not need to be l'shem chag. So that's the machlaikis. The machlaikis here is: Does your sukkah need to be l'shem chag, or not? But continues the Mishnah and says, "Avlo ma'asasay l'shem chag." But if you made it l'shem chag, afilu mitzchilas hashana, it's going to work. So that's the machlaikis. Beisel always holds it works. Beisel says you don't do no din l'shema. Now, I know everyone's wondering that we know about this thing, about the schach, that if it's up too early, you got to pick it up, you got to put it down. Sounds a shtickle be shamay dick. Let's get there. Is there a difference if you say I'm building this for sukkahs as a yantif versus I'm building this sukkah, which is a physical structure? It, it, it would seem so. It would seem so. As we're about to see in the Gemara, it seems that it's all about the shame mitzvah sukkah. The shame mitzvah matzah, shame mitzvah tefillin, shame mitzvah sukkah. So if you say I'm building a structure, you say I'm building a sukkah, yeah. like I'm building a shed, right? Versus I'm building this for shame chah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like just like, you know, in the Matzah Akris, they walk around, the Shai Mitzvah's Matzah. No, that's the, that's the Yushalmi version. But uh Chlesnish, whatever, whichever Matzah Factory you've gone into. And in the Tzitzis Factories, the same thing, the Shai Mitzvah's Tzitzis, sounds like the same thing. If you build your sukkah tonight, you got to say, the Shai Mitzvah's Sukkah. That's what it sounds like. Let's see. Zok, Deiligi Gemara, Ma'i Taima, Debei Shamai. Where does Bei Shamai get this thing that it needs to be the Shai Mitzvah's Sukkah? Amar Krah says the Pasik Chag Sukkah is Shivas Yom La Hashem. The Siyant of Sukkah should be seven days La Hashem for Hashem. What do we learn out from over here? Mika, no, I made it up. Sukkah Sui Le Shem Chag Binon. Says Be Shamai, it has to be the Shem Chag. Ube Selel, what do they say? Homi Bayle Le Chlorav Sheesh. It's that Pasik, the Pasik of Be Shamai, of Chag Sukkah Shivas Yom La Hashem, says Be Selel. We utilize this pasik for a different din. The din of Rav Sheshes. What's the din of Rav Sheshes? Dama Rav Sheshes b'shem Rabbi Akiva. Minayim na'atzei ha-sukkah. She'asurim be'hanakol sheva. How do we know that the walls of a sukkah are forbidden? The atzei ha-sukkah are forbidden in Hana all seven days of Yontif. Talmud Leimar, you know where we learn out this thing from? We learn it from, says, Beisilel, Beishamais, Pasik, Chag, Asukais, Shivas, Yomim, La Hashem. De, excuse me, Utanya, continues the Gemara. And where do we learn this out from? And we learned in Abraisa, Rav Yudah ben Besira, Oimer, Kishem, Shechal, Shem, Shemayim, Alech, Hagiga, just like this Adin. That is the shame that a carbon chagiga is the shame shamayim, meaning you can't get any benefit from it. It's also behano kach chal shim shamayim. So too, you have so too, it's chal shim shamayim al soko on the soko shen emar teaches Rav Sheshes chag a soko shivas yomim la hashem that the soko should be seven days for hashem. Ma chag la Hashem, af sukkah itself is la Hashem, meaning the entity of the sukkah, the atzeya sukkah, has kedusha, and therefore it is la Hashem, and you cannot get any benefit from it. So now, what's the kasha? Obviously, we throw the ball back to Beishamai. What does Beishamai do with this? O Beishamai, nami mi bayi asks the Gemara, what in second? Doesn't Beishamai also need the Basik to teach us that the wall of the sukkah, the Atzei HaSukkah, is Aser Behana? Says the Gemara, Ein Hacha Nami. 100%. Meaning, Beishamai is Chayzer. Beishamai originally thought what we learned now from the Basik, Chag HaSukkah, 
Chag Sukkah Shavas Yom Hashem. Originally, Beis Shammai said that Apostle teaches us that the Sukkah has to be Lushay Mitzah Sukkah. Beis Shammai or Chayzer. And say Beis Shammai, no. Really, I agree that this Pasik teaches me Atzei HaSukkah. Teaches me that the walls of the Sukkah are Asr Bana. Elamai time Ayo De Beis Shammai. Says the Gemara, rather, what is the reason of Beis Shammai? Ksev Krach Rina. Says Bishamai, the fact that a sukkah needs to be Lishma, we have another Pasik. What does the Pasik say? Chag sukkah is taselecha shivas yomim. The yontav of sukkah should be for you for seven days. And from here, Bishamai learns sukkah asuya lishim chag be'inon. That the sukkah has to be made for yomtiv. So what do we say now? What does Basil do with this Pasik? U and Beisel, who says that the sukkah does not have to be l'shem mitzvah sukkah, does not have to be l'shma. What does Beisel do with this pasuk of Chag Sukkah Tzas Lecha Shivas Yamim? How me by lay le'usa sukkah bechay le'shal mayid? Where do we have this? Who remembers? We had this dinner already. We had a very unique drush. If you remember that there was an opinion that held you're not allowed to build a sukkah on Cholamay. There's an opinion that held that a sukkah, you're not allowed to move from one sukkah to the next. You have to stay in one sukkah for all seven days. Oh, who? Rav Lazar. Very good. So that's where they learned it out from this Pasik. Oh, he says, sukkah b'chadil shamayid. Basel says, but you are yes allowed to make a sukkah on cholamayid. We learn out from this Pasik of chag ha-sukkah shivas yamim l'ashem. Ubei shamay. What do Bei shamay say? Svir loho kir. Very good. Rav Eliezer, like you just said, Da'amar ein oise sukkoi b'chol yishal mo'yid. Where was this? It says over here, Chavzayin Mebez. I don't have Chavzayin Mebez in front of me. Yes. Chavzayin Mebez. The very top of Chavzayin Mebez. Ein oise sukkoi b'chol yishal mo'yid. Second paragraph. Beautiful. So it says, the Gemara, Beishamai holds of Rav Eliezer. Therefore, you cannot build a sukkah cholamayit. So we have two dinim going on over here. Din number one, does a sukkah need l'shma? Says Beishama, yes. Says Beishilel, no. Din number two, says both Beishama and Beishilel, you're not allowed to get benefit from the walls of the sukkah. They both agree to that point. Din number two, that they debate too, is are you allowed to build a sukkah on cholamayit? Beishilel says, no. Beishilel says, yes, excuse me. And therefore, that's what he uses Beishama, he's passing for. And Beishama says, no. And they hold like shitas, Rab El Yazer, which similarly was that you need to have one sick of the whole Yantif, etc. Says the Gemara, Ube Selel, Les Lehud Rab Yehuda Amarav. Be Selel, do not hold of Rab Yehuda Amarav. What's Rab Yehuda Amarav? Da, my Rav Yudah Marav explains the Gemara that Rav Yudah, again, let, let's just, one dot of background. Well, what's this? This is random. Basil just taught us with regard to sukkah, is there a din l'shma? No. Says the Gemara, even though Basil does not hold of l'shma by a sukkah, but they do hold perhaps of l'shma elsewhere. Let's see. So says the Gemara, meaning now we're going to extend l'shma elsewhere. Ubeisila, les lehud de Rav Yudah Marav. Do they not hold of Rav Yudah Marav? Do Amar Rav Yudah Marav? Say Rav Yudah Marav. Asa min hakoitzim. If you make the strings for the tzitzis, if you make the strings from koitzim, certain types of, uh, uh, I think it means thorns, but it doesn't really mean thorns. You can't make strings from thorns. Um, I guess I don't know. Minanimin, minagardin, all different types of uh, materials that um, you know don't really hold so well. Says Beisilel, psula. Oh, Ramnachi, three tomatoes per pack. Says the Gemara, psula. I wanted like stick an extra tomato in. Like give that family a little stick extra. I didn't though. I didn't actually. I kept the three tomatoes per pack. I've had this a I wanted to give an extra, you know, for everyone that you smash, you throw an extra one in. Anyways, I hope they told them, like, this was kids' packing week. Like, you know, the stickle's pushed. 
you know, things happen. Says the Gemara, so min hakoitin, min animin, min hagardin. What's the halacha? The halacha is psula. It is possible for tzitzis. But if you made him in a sisin, then it is ksheir. What do all these words mean? Anyone have an English translation on them? Hey, Cooper, do you have an English translation on you? Thorn-like thread. Oh. Uh. Good. And what's season? What's season? Yeah. What's season? Season? Yeah, the last word. I mean, a season is kshera. Long thread that's like a ball or something? What does that mean? It's okay. From balls of threads. Not made for us, not made for tzitzis, right? Okay, so it's going. Stam thread, stam thread, stam thread. So basically, what's going on over here? It says the Gemara. Basil, let's read it again. If you make them from all these garbage type of threads, thorn threads, and leftover threads, and the threads that are on the edges of the warp and the woof and all these fascinating areas, if you make the threads from any of these, says Basil, <coughs> psula. But if you make it minatitzin, which is what? Any stam thread, but a thread that was not made l'shem tzitzis, kshera, meaning the same basil that said in our Mishnah, you don't need to have lishma to build a sukkah. They all you don't need to have lishma for the strings of the tzitzis. But continues the Gemara, ke amrito, kame dishmuel amarli, af minatitzin, Nami psula, why? Debeinon tevia lishma, because the tzitzis have to be spun lishma. Even the creation of the strings have to be lishma. And this is actually a chumra on a chasitzis. This is a chumra. Most tzitzis are not tevia lishma, but you could get tevia lishma. Pay an extra few dollars, you could get tevia lishma. Shmura says it's a nice chumra. The average tzitzis. Do not have, but the average tzitzis are made <laughs> lishma. But I'll tell you something fascinating. A lot of tzitzis are made by machines. A lot of tzitzis are made by machines. Oh, mamash like machine matzah. It's 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 b'nei brak. It's b'nei brak. It's it's from this thing. Just stam. It's it's a stickle shaila. You buy the machine lishma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they you know they sit there and they press the button lishma. It's a stickle. Right. The only problem is is if you don't really hold of it in matzah, which a lot of the uh, Heimish or Litvish or contingency, do we hold of it, do we not hold of it, massive sigya. Not so posh if you should hold of it for tzitzis. The only problem is no one knows. Because it looks like it has a good heksher. Or this is a It's a gewaldic heksher. But uh, if you look at it, it says, Na'ase al yedei mechona. It's made al yedei a machine. It's fascinating machines. The machines sit there and make knots and throw the strings around. It's very cool. But either way, it is something to be mindful of. Um, when you are buying, grab the old Talesimar, and it's only, it's only tzitzis that they do this on, and it's usually like the undershirt tzitzis type that you'll find this on, which is like the Nishkefelch. Yeah, the Alagadalim sitting there making tzitzis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only Kasha, why did they get the machine once then? Interesting Kasha. Anyways, anyways. Hachanami. You know, there no, let, let, let's 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 stop here. I feel like we already bit off, already bit off a lot, even though the 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 the. Should we just go to the end over here? Um, um, what's my nacht? Mit mit turkey? No, we're not having a big turkey here. What does he say? Ramesha says it's okay, though. No, no, he says it's okay. He says that there are others that some still say it's okay. I'll look at it afterwards. Yeah, you know, let, let's go Javaita. Let's just go Javaita. What are we holding? Four, seven, eight? We'll let's go Javaita. Frakti, Gamara. Are we having turkey for breakfast tomorrow morning? No, we have uh, bagels. We have bagels. We have turkey bacon. I don't know. We should have tur- Should we fly and should go breakfast tomorrow morning? 9.45. Yeah, the coffee first, then have this turkey and this thing. We have almond milk. 
Just have a black. Hachanami, Fracti Gemara, Nibai Sukkah Suyelishma. Asks the Gemara, one second. You just told me that Shmuel said, Kamrita Kamidi Shmuel. What did Shmuel say? That the tzitzis need to be made lishma. So frack the Gemara. That doesn't work with Beis Hillel. Beis Hillel said a sukkah doesn't have to be lishma. Shmuel said the tzitzis do have to be lishma. According to Shmuel, the sukkah should have to be lishma. Says the Gemara. You know, not everything in life has to be equal. Not since it doesn't have to be like sukkah and doesn't need, mean that you have to eat chal of Yisrael. And, you know, not everything is the same. But it's chal of Yisrael for other reasons. Says the Gemara, shiny hasam. With regards to tzitzis, the different is a different din. To Omar Kro, we have a special pasuk that says, Gedilim tase loch. Loch l'shem chayvach. Special din by tzitzis that needs to be l'shma. Says the Gemara, what do you mean? Hachanami, Chaga, Sukkah, Yistase, Lecha, Lecha, L'Shem, Chayvach. So Sukkah should also have to be Lishma. Says the Gemara, Ahu, Mi, Ba'yolei, That Pasuk of Chaga, Sukkah, Yistase, Lecha, We need for, Lemautei, Gizula, That your Sukkah cannot be stolen. Frak, the Gemara, Hasam, Nami, Ba'y, Tzitzis, Maybe also your tzitzis can't be stolen. Says the Gemara Hasam Kra We have another pasuk by tzitzis that says Va'asu lahem Mishel lahem. So we have an extra word by tzitzis. That's why tzitzis have to be both non gizula and lishma. We'll mention. You think sukkah gizula? When do you ever have such a thing? What, who has knows the case of sukkah gizula? What uh, squatters. squatters? What else? It's, it's a very massive shalom. If you build a sukkah, shul sukkah where? Not your shul. No, no. Uh, no. Let's say the shul just decides, which certain neighborhoods do. I'm putting it on the street. I'm not getting no permits. I'm not getting anything. LMI, I'll get a fine. No. Sometimes it's easier to pay the fine than it is to get the permit. It's a massive shale. Is that called a sukkah gazula? It's a sukkah gazula, l'chaira. LMI not, because which part is gazula? The sukkah itself is in gazul. The land is gazul. We all know the klal, karka in an exalus. Fascinating sukkah, and Meisah Baruch Hashem, I think we get along with our government over here. Hello. Nah, yeah, ish, ish. Anyways, okay, Chazar, we'll tomorrow night um, with, with um, hopefully some food tomorrow night.